finally finish it up with Houston. Houston, H Town. Alright. Welcome back to Tika's Creations. My name is Takaso. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Also, if you haven't followed me on, on my Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, my username is down below. And finally, if you want to support me on Patreon, the card is up in the top right. Thank you so much for your time and support. And this painting was inspired by the past hurricane that hit Houston, Hurricane Harvey. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are recuperating. And I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get on to it. Okay, so we want to start with like a red and a black because this painting, I'm going to stick to three colors, red, white, and black. And that's just going to be really simple. So first you're going to make your texture. So first put down the red then put down the black, and it's extremely hot, so I have to be careful that the newspaper won't stick. Yeah, I landed that shot. Anyway, so put black over it, right? We're making the pupil itself, and that's just gonna be uh, just a black. And what I do is I just spray over, and then I just cover the edges with a little bit of red, right? Next, we're gonna focus on making the actual iris, right? So we're making the iris, and that's just gonna be, it gets brighter as it goes closer to the pupil. So I want all the light to shine towards the middle. That's why I surround the, the outer part with black. Here I'm making the white part for the eye. Here, I want the I want the eye to look like it's either angry or it's uh, basically crying, right? Because I want in the future what I want to do is I want to drop all the tears down the sky. Okay, so here's our eye, right? And we're just filling in the shape that we want it to be. Of course, the color that we put down for the first layer when we put the black on top of that, that's the color that's going to show. And to make the actual shape of the eye, we're just going to use our rock formations just to create like that encasing of the eyeball. Also, if any of you are actually in Houston, I really hope that if the hurricane did affect you, that you guys are doing better. And if you ever need to talk or anything like that, my Snapchat is always down below, tkus underscore creations. You can message me, people message me, they talk to me and stuff. It's actually pretty cool, I like it. So if you just wanna say hi or ask me any questions, just let me know down there. Okay, here we wanna make it look like a cavern type, so there's some sort of depth into our painting, right? It looks like the eye is like sinking in. Alright, so we're just doing the bottom layer here, and we're going to be doing the same thing. So we're just adding these different rock formations, right, to uh, make it even, right, and to make it look like, you know, like, eyes like crying, right, something like this, and just like, tears are going to come down. Alright, newspaper stick a little bit, don't worry about it, it happens, right, just take it off with your nail, and then if you really want to cover it, cover it again with the black, right, it'll fix it up. We're just gonna add a second layer to add a little bit more detail, right? But it won't show that much because I didn't put a color in it, right? So here you'll see that. Again, it's extremely hot here in Houston, so the heat is the two. My two major enemies are the heat and the wind. I hate the wind so much; it blows all my paintings away. It's so annoying. Okay, 
Anyway, so this is the eye, right? It looks dark, right? And the reason why I want to make it so dark is that the highlights, when I do put on the eye, it will, sh it will make it look more realistic. And I'll show you what that looks like towards the end of the video. Okay, here we're gonna start preparing to make our city, right? And our city is gonna be the color that we spray underneath for the first color, when we're scratching the paint. Here I have a stencil of Houston, right? I'm just making it look more graffiti type by just taking the stencil and just quickly doing a spray over with red and then with black. Right? Give it some sort of interesting, you know, graffiti type look. Also, it's okay that like I'm adding some layers, right? But they're getting covered. That's fine with me, right? I would, I'd much rather have the detail that's there so it could show, right? Rather than it not being there at all. all right? I think for me, personally, that the more detail I put, the more work I put into it, the better the painting, right? Not necessarily the whole, like all the time, but that's generally what I try to do. Trying to add it really high up that just in case it does get covered that you can actually see it still. All right, and then that red box that we have there in the middle, all right, we're just gonna cover that with black, and then we're gonna start shaping our buildings, right? And I'll make a separate video how to make buildings, but basically, I what I do there is I clean my blade, right? So it's sharp, so I have a sharp edge, and what I do is I just you just, just press it down and just scrape, right? You scrape, clean your knife every once in a while. But usually just relax, right? If you mess up, cover it again with black and just go over it again. Right? And just, you just make a skyline. I'm adding some crystal clear because of how hot it is, right? And I want it to actually show the red and make it easier to scratch the paint. Yeah, I'm gonna add a few buildings on the other side just to make it more look more like look more symmetrical. Right, those are our buildings. All right, next step, I'm gonna add the water, right? Because during the hurricane, basically what happened is that a bunch of rain happened, right? You don't know already. And basically made all our rivers, all, all our, basically all our rivers overflow and all our streets overflow, rivers, basically, literally. So that's what I'm trying to represent here, right? That there's a bunch of water going on. And I use my same blade because it's, it's when it boils down to it, it's the same technique and you can scratch the paint. Yeah, I want to encase the words Houston, so my rocks are going to be red. Right? Just fixing it up as best as possible. Sorry if I seem a little tired. I was up late that last night working um, on the art stuff around different advertising techniques. Yeah, I'm just kind of tired. A little bit tired. But anyway, we're going to get this video done. Right, so I, I put black there, and since it's hot, the paint is really like it's mixing together with the red, right? The first layer is mixing with the red with the second layer. Sometimes that happens, but really nothing we can control. So we're just doing our best with what we have. Right? Trying to add as much texture as possible. I like to go up and then swipe down at an angle. I'm gonna add like a second layer of layering of the cavern. Alright. 
Alright, here I'm gonna add the tears that are going to fall and act like the rain, right? So I tried using a full long piece just to do this, but I ended up not working. So what I ended up doing is I used to tear up the little piece, right? And I'm using the painted side because um, it is an absorbed paint into the poster. Right? Because if you do it on the paper side, it just seeps into the poster. Okay, here I'm doing the tears, right? I can work rain. Finally, finish it up with Houston, Houston, H-Town, alright, here we go, and um, I just do a simple black and white because the surrounding area is the majority of it is right So here, we just gotta do a street pattern. When I ended up to make the O's for Houston, I'll spray some red and then I spray some black over that. So add some color also to make it a little bit darker as well. Great to show. Alright, and I'm adding a base for the Houston letters to sit on, basically. If you want to view this one, this painting, there's a picture of it on my Instagram. It's Tikus underscore creation, you can view it there. And I'll probably be posting it to my Facebook, my Snapchat, and also my Twitter. So, be on the lookout for that. But, uh, this painting is basically coming to an end. I'm just finishing it up, finishing it up a little bit. Some, like, white. Accent marks, you see how bright now the white looks, and it just brings it to life. It's crazy. I'm adding little ornaments, right? Some white comments for the rockets, use some rockets. Oh, God. Other than that, I'm very, I'm very happy with this painting. This is an old design that I basically gave a facelift to. I've done this design before, but uh, I just changed up a few things. Like after the hurricane, I thought it was a good idea to add like the tears going over the skyline to act a little different. Yeah, I'm trying to add birds on the white part of the eye so I can show a little bit. If you guys are liking the videos and liking the style, right? Please let me know what you what you think in the comments down below, and just comment down below the city that you're from. I want to know. I'm from Houston. I'll put it down in the comments, and we can have a conversation there. Signing my work. This is the piece. I hope you guys like it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and support me on Patreon if you haven't already. Like me and like my videos. But I'll see you later. Bye to Castle family. Thank you for your support.